Worldwide, I'm Tulane James. This is the damn cooking show. We've been all over the damn world. Fancy town, been to France, making some omelets. We just got back from shooting this damn cow and chopping them up. Now, we're gonna eat a delicious bone-in ribeye with nice acidic little arugula, fennel, and honey crisp apple salad. A little acidity, a little niceness to go along with the fatness of the steak. This is probably the easiest thing that you can cook at home. A lot of fun too. It's not that hard cooking a steak. It's actually pretty easy. All you gotta do, use your pee pee. Patience and practice. And you can get this every single damn time. All right, let's go. First things first, season the beef. Regular ass salt. You wanna use a lot of salt. You want salt from high up too. It's a lot. Of, it's it's like it's like a pretty snowy day. I'm in Alaska hunting moose. <laughs> you want to use enough salt as if you were seasoning the outside and the inside of the beef. Because only the outside is getting the, all the love here. Both sides. And that is all we're gonna do to this beautiful bone and ribeye right here. Put this guy aside, let it hang out. What it's actually gonna do is pull a little bit of the moisture out of the steak and give it uh, a harder sear when we throw that motherfucker on the cast iron, which we're gonna do in a little bit. But next, we gotta make some dressing. But first, bear Need a little PBR. I think it's impossible to make a dressing without any beer in your body. Nice, let's go. Fancy olive oil, shit's from Spain. A little secret I learned, perfect amount of olive oil. One, two. Little trips around the bowl gives you just what you're gonna need for your salad. So we're making a serving for one here. We're gonna do about as half as much, what the fuck is this? This is nice balsamic vinaigrette from Spain as well. Right there with our olive oil. Boom. Then we're gonna do a little bit of honey actually. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Go for yourself. Mmm. Honey comes from bees. Always roll your lemons, make them nice and juice, juiced up, get a little juiced up. We do about like, like a third of a lemon. I like to do my lemon juice measurements by how much lemon I'm gonna use, because I feel like I can tell better how much juice gonna be coming out of that guy. Give it a little squeeze, don't get the seeds in. Nice, about that much. Into the bullshit. And get yourself a whisk. What we forget, chef. Season to taste. A little bit of salt. And beat that some bitch till it's emulsified. And we did end up getting a little seed in there. Take that out with your fingers and mm, fucking mm, throw it with the camera. How are we gonna know if this is any good? Pinky, put it in there. Mwah, phenomenal. Cool. So this is a really easy salad to make. First, honey crisp apples. There are some disgusting apples in the world, like the ones you used to give your teacher in third grade. Take those, throw those right into the bullshit or give them to somebody you don't like. Honey crisp are phenomenal. We're gonna do very finely slice this apple here. And you can use each side of the apple here. We got a nice big tower of apples going on. 
We want to make these manageable. So what we're going to do, cut them into quarters. Boom, turn, boom. Next, this is a bulb of fennel. Fennel is really awesome. I feel like it's not used enough in cooking. Uh, it's got an anise flavor, which is similar to licorice. Uh, this one has actually been sitting on the counter for a couple days, so it got a little brown in it. But, folks, guess what? It's not a big deal. You can still use it. There's a little bit of brown weight. You just cut it off, cut around it. I feel like so many vegetables go into the garbage because people see a little something. It's not going to taste good. No, just cut it off. First, cut the top end off your fennel bulb. Put these aside. We're going to use these in our salad a little bit later. Little spriggy ends. But what do we do? Take that brown, turn it upside down. Into the bullshit. Come on. It's not that hard. Comes right off. And we're gonna shave our fennel with this little guy here. I would prefer to use a mandolin, but I don't have one right now. Uh, it's on the way. Amazon.com. Thank you very much. A little shave fennel here. To each corner, you can smell that, it's phenomenal. Look at that nice little, mmm. Smells like a little licorice. Beautiful. Cool, we got this nice little core left here. Put that aside. So we got some apples. We got our fennel here. And we got some nice peppery arugula. We're gonna take all of this and we're gonna mix it into and we're dressing here. And give that a light fold. Boom. Beautiful. Take your little spriggies. Give them like a little, little pop in there. Burp, burp, burp. Little spriggy guys. Burp. These are super mild, but really tasty. Gives a nice color and texture. That was the Back to the Future song. Garbage, nice. Little toss. This can go into the fridge until we are ready with our steak. Shit, I fucked up. We forgot about our little orange segments here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make Supremes from these. So we're gonna put this here and just eat your apple. What do this is cut around to expose the fruit. Supremes are the very essence of the fruit. They're just the center part. They don't include the ribs or the little outside portions. Chef Freddy taught me how to do this. Thank you, Chef Freddy. We used to make grapefruit supremes all the time. It was a lot of fun. Now, fine. Those nice little white lines here. Those are the ribs. We're gonna cut in between those and chop out that delicious, precious little fruit. One. Two. Scoop that out. Boom. Make sure you got a nice sharp knife for this. So you can get a little tedious. You don't want to cut your finger off. It's not much, because these are mandarin oranges. This is the sweetest little part of the fruit. And what you'll be left with is just like these little bits of ribs here. Just toss that. Into the fridge we go, cause it's beef time, boys. All right, this steak, we've been sitting here for a couple minutes now. As you can see, it's drawn a lot of moisture out of the steak. So we're gonna put it here. What I like to do, take a little paper towel, pat her dry. And this, folks, is ready to rock. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get this cast iron skillet ripping fucking hot. We're gonna throw some 
sunflower oil in. We're almost going to do like a shallow fry situation kind of thing. And we're going to butter baste that son of a bitch till it is gorgeous and golden brown, a little garlic, a little something or other. Put it all together. Game time. High heat. Turn your fan on. It's gonna get a little smoky in there, folks. All right, y'all, we got a ton of heat on this pan. We use the sunflower oil because it got that high price point. Get them in there. Away from me. Once you hear that sound, you know you're rocking. Alright chefs, we're going to give this a flip and we're going to start butter basting with some garlic. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Get your butter in. In. Crushed garlic cloves. In. And base. Beautiful foamy butter, garlic, ribeye. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a beautiful fucking ribeye steak here. We're gonna put this down, we're gonna let this rest. Save all that nice butter stuff. Meantime, you know what time it is, folks. Beer break! <sighs> Ladies and gents, did I fuck this up? Maybe! But as long as it's not more cooked than medium rare. We're fine. I like a nice rare steak. Uh, you know, uh, if you like uh, a well done steak, you're just wrong. Let's cut into this guy. Here we go. First, I'm gonna get this right off the bone. Nice. Save this guy, we're gonna put it on a serving plate. Now the ribeye has a very special part called the deckel. The deckel, you can kind of see here, is this nice little part he here that hugs the top. We're just gonna go and slice this in a gradient. Please be medium rare. Cut a ribeye. Let's get this chopped. Woo! Let's serve it up. Bone on. Got a nice little fan here, because I'm a fan of ribeyes. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. This is heaven, folks. And now, your nice acidic, delicious salad. 
right on the side here. So your apples, fennel. Now that some bitch right on top. Couple cracks of black pepper. Boom, 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 boom. Finally, a little sprinkle of Maldon. Last thing to do, chefs, give that some bitch a taste. My taste. All right. We did it again. Perfectly good fucking ribeye. Believe it, son. Excellent, Steve. I wouldn't have done a damn thing differently. Episode fucking five. Holy shit, yo. I can't believe I've had enough motivation to do one of these. This shit is fucking slamming. Go get yourself a damn red bar. Cook it exactly like this. Tag me in a photo and tell me how much I suck at fucking cooking. Because you're probably a lot better than me after watching this shit. Yeah, y'all, let's get it!